Hundreds of MPs from the Tunisian Constituent Assembly are defending the bill that will legalize the compensation for the former political prisoners. The Tunisian civil society has opposed to the controversial project that will cost 500 million euros for the taxpayers. Thousands have demonstrated in the capital as they believe that the economy is unstable. The economic situation doesn't support the negative impact of the 1 billion dinar compensation. For the next five years, Tunisians shouldn't accept unnecessary expenses because the economic crisis has deepened in the country. The costly compensation is a real hold-up of the national budget. It's an illegitimate demand. Some protesters have expressed their solidarity with the former political prisoners. Nonetheless, many civil society activists and finance experts have warned against the bankruptcy of the state. Those who have lost their jobs and were jailed for opposing dictatorship have the right to be compensated, but they are a minority. We can charge millions of people in the name of solidarity. That will result in the nation's bankruptcy. For over five decades, the prominent political activist Kamel Jalouli opposed the dictatorship of the former rulers in Tunisia. He claims that the compensation project might solve the problems of a minority, but it will certainly result in more social tensions within the Tunisian population. This deadlock will certainly cause trouble and more social tensions in the country because some political prisoners will be given millions while others won't be paid. The situation could create animosity among Tunisians if everyone is not treated equally. 18 months after the revolution, the Tunisian public opinion is shattered by the 1 billion dinar compensation project. The initiative of some politicians is intended to solve the problems of the people, but it has turned into an additional problem that ordinary citizens are denouncing in the streets. The compensation for the former political prisoners has divided the Tunisian society. Observers say that the division might turn into a crisis if the assembly doesn't listen to the protesters. Adnan Shereshi, Press TV, Tunis.